Developing this morning, a stunning revelation from a Pennsylvania Republican who pushed the big lie of mass election fraud in his state. In an interview with the Pennsylvania Capitol Star, State Representative Seth Grove is asked, who committed that fraud in Pennsylvania? Grove answered, right, Republicans. But it's still election fraud. It doesn't matter who commits it. Now, I will say there's not like this mass amount of fraud that's going to shift hundreds of thousands of votes. When asked about his role in propagating the big lie, Grove responded, I can't help people believe everything on the Internet. Joining me now, Republican Philadelphia City Commissioner Al Schmidt. I think, uh, Commissioner, nice to see you. I think people will remember you from when ballots were still being counted in Philadelphia. You were out in public then saying, let us do this. The count is going well. Everything is going according to plan. When you hear a Republican lawmaker in your state say out loud, you know, we've been saying there was fraud, there was fraud, there was fraud. Yes, there was fraud, but we were doing it. I mean, what are you supposed to think? Well, it's, it's certainly frustrating from the standpoint of an election administrator in one of the biggest cities in the country, uh, here in Philadelphia, um, to hear people say they are so concerned about uh, restoring confidence in the elections, but really uh, the biggest thing that anyone could do to restore confidence in the election and election results is to obviously stop lying about them. Right. So he continues to say that we need to be careful. I'm just asking questions about whether the elections are fair. But you point out there's, there's actually something insidious about continuing to say that. And, and I think you hit on something very important. I've watched all the hearings in the House and the Senate, and I've testified uh, in front of the Senate, and my office and I have testified in front of House committees about elections uh, since the election as well. And it's really about raising questions. There are far more questions than there is evidence of any uh, voter fraud at all on any scale that would have made any difference. Just raising the questions alone seems to be rhetorically uh, a tool that's used to kind of conjure up these ghosts or phantoms and to then try to come up with solutions for problems that don't exist. I mean, to make this more clear, they keep saying, we want to know if the elections are fair. We think the elections are rigged. We think there's evidence of this. We're just asking if there's evidence that there's fraud. And then they have the gall to say, well, there are all these questions out there about whether the elections are fair, but they're the ones asking those questions with no evidence. Right, and, and in the hearings, and, and I really think they've done a pretty thorough job. They had a lot of hearings with a lot of people testify, and you didn't hear from, at least that I saw, any of the election administrators suggesting there was anything that required uh, legislation that would, um, you know, crack down on this, um, this alleged voter fraud. Uh, it was really about how do we improve elections and how do we how do we make structural changes to lessen the opportunity for people to lie about them? Um, Commissioner, you are not running for re-election. And just to remind people what you went through, I want to play a little bit from a discussion we had while the ballots were still being counted in Philadelphia. Listen to this. I have seen the most fantastical things on social media making completely ridiculous allegations that have no basis in fact at all and see them spread. I think people should be mindful that there are bad actors who are lying to them. Bad actors lying to them. So after everything you went through then, Commissioner, after everything that you've gone through, really at the hands of people of your own party, do you still consider yourself a Republican? Well, you know, I, I've been a Republican longer than Donald Trump has been a Republican. And it's strange that, you know, you're referred to as a rhino and others are referred to as rhinos simply because they know uh, and tell the truth that the election was fair and transparent. Um, that seems to be the litmus test right now, is if you are willing to, uh, to keep perpetrating or uh, perpetuating that lie. Commissioner Schmidt, we appreciate you being with us. Thanks so much for your time.